Hey Trekkies, welcome back to another episode of Yelling About Star Trek. My name is Christian Fox and this is the show where I yell at you about all things Star Trek for your amusement. Today, I want to talk about the greatest debate in nerd history, and that is Star Trek versus Star Wars. In fact, if you don't know this, there's actually a law that requires all content creators who are of the nerdy variety to cover this, so I am following my legal obligation by covering this debate. But what I want to argue is that really you shouldn't compare the two franchises because they are very different. Now, what I want to do is actually do something a little bit different and cut to a video that I filmed in January 2021. I liked what I said, but there was things that didn't quite line up because of the way the channel was. I hadn't really started the podcast. The name was different. So there's just a bunch of things that were different, but ultimately I liked what I said and I liked how I delivered it. So I thought instead of reshooting it, why not just use the old video? So I'm about to cut to Christian Fox of January 2021. Star Trek and Star Wars should not be compared, and they can't be. Whoa, what? You really don't want to compare Star Wars and Star Trek? How can you not compare them? I mean, they're both space, they both have spaceships, there's both lots of explosions, and there's lots of fancy flying and maneuvers and alien races and droids, for goodness sakes. There's droids and robots, so how can you not compare the two? Have you lost your mind? Well, hang on a minute. Let me kind of explain, let me dial it back. I actually don't know if this is dialing it back, but but let's let's not dial it back. Let, let's let's break this down a little bit because you know what you're right. They are very superficially very similar. They both involve spaceships, they both involve intergalactic interplanetary conflicts, but yet the two are very very different. Star Trek in my opinion is more science fiction whereas Star Wars is more space fantasy. In the case of Star Trek, it deals with all the kind of the classic sci-fi concepts that you would expect in a science fiction show. Uh, you know, you deal with space exploration. What does that mean for humanity? You deal with extraterrestrials. How can we get along? It deals with sentience and artificial intelligence and what that actually means ultimately for us going into the future. It deals with all kinds of crazy, wacky sci-fi phenomenon and just like, what the heck is going on kind of situation. And one of the biggest features of Star Trek over Star Wars is that they like to explain things. They like to make things seem believable so that you or I could imagine that, okay, maybe in the future we could do those things. And how do they explain it? With science. Well, not actual science. They use what they like to call technobabble, which is just a lot of fancy sounding words that sound impressive, but when you think about it, really don't make much sense. I mean, tachyons. What the heck are tachyons? What even are tachyons? Why do they keep mentioning tachyons? Let's move on. Star Wars, on the other hand, really doesn't have any of those features. It doesn't try to explain well, how things work. It just kind of shows you that, hey, you know what? Here's a spaceship and it works because it works and that's the way it is so you just have to accept it. And we as the audience totally buy into that. And yes, they have droids and aliens, but they don't really kind of explore them in the science fiction lens. They don't really say, okay, what are the different cultures like? How do we as humans interact with those cultures? How do we overcome those differences? They don't really do that. They just kind of show you that, hey, there's aliens here and everybody just kind of expects that. That's why everybody seems to be able to speak every language and there doesn't seem to be, oh, you're an alien, this is crazy. I, my mind's blown, it's just like, it's just more, oh, hey, there's the Wookiee, oh, the Wookiee, oh, we got a Wookiee here, all right, uh, everybody just be nice, don't, don't upset the Wookiee, it's fine. I mean, the biggest example is Han and Chewie. They don't really get into their cultural differences, it's mostly just, hey, we, we hang out with each other, we get along, and we talk, and that's it, and that's fine, but they don't really get into the different aspects of how we as humanity would deal with extraterrestrial life forms. And look at the droids, for example. The droids are robots, so just like Star Wars, they are sentient robots that seem to have feelings, but there's really no explanation or exploration into how do they come to be. When you look at C-3PO, it's never about, oh wow, C-3PO is really evolving beyond his programming. Is C-3PO really a person or not? They don't really ask those questions, just, well, C-3PO's here and we like him because he has all the different languages and he can be useful. But if we don't like him, we'll just turn him off. No problem. Problem, which is something you would never see on Star Trek, or at least not to the same degree. 
So yes, well, aliens and droids do function in that universe, they don't really come at it from a, what I would consider to be a science fiction approach. Now, the only time, at least again, talking about the movies, the only time that I ever recall Star Wars going into science fiction territory is when they introduced everyone's favorite microorganism, midi-chlorians, to explain how the Force works. Where in that movie, specifically The Phantom Menace, it said that, hey, if you have a lot of midi-chlorians, you have the Force. So if you have a thousand midi-chlorians, well, you're more Force sensitive than someone who only has 500 or whatever it is. But they included it as kind of a science fiction, like, hey, this is explaining why these people have this ability. Now, granted, it's kind of a garbage explanation and ruins the, the force completely, but it is nonetheless a more Star Trek-like explanation as to how things work. As I noted earlier, Star Wars, on the other hand, is more space fantasy. For example, you have space wizards, the Jedi, instead of actual wizards. You have space magic, the Force, instead of magic. And you have the evil space empire, the Empire, instead of an uh, evil kingdom. And finally, you have two evil space wizards, Darth Vader and Darth Sidious, instead of the evil king or wizard. In fact, I often describe Star Wars as being the medieval times of space, where you could take the medieval times setting, put it in space, and take all your medieval characters, put them in space, and you have Star Wars. Another aspect that is different between the two franchises is the type of issues and philosophical issues that they explore. Star Trek follows the more classical sci-fi tradition of looking at today's social issues through a sci-fi lens. One of the most famous examples of this in Star Trek is the episode Episode, Let That Be Your Last Battlefield. For those of you who don't know, that's the episode with the half black and half white aliens. Now, the episode itself is not very good. The way it deals with racial issues is just outdated and it sends the wrong message, but I really do enjoy the self-destruct sequence because it's kind of cool and the running at the very end of the episode is some of the worst running in f TV film history and I love it. I love it. Every time I watch it, it makes me laugh and I could only imagine how horrified Tom Cruise is whenever he sees it, if he ever watches this. I don't know if he's a fan, but I'm assuming at some point in his life he's seen a clip of them running and it's just like, oh my gosh. I'm not ever going to run like that. Star Wars, on the other hand, is more of an exploration of the philosophical issues of good versus evil. Is good stronger than evil? Can good be corrupted to become evil? What leads someone who is righteous and who is good to become evil? And can that person who was once good, who is now evil, become good again? And that's kind of what it's all about. This is a side note, but it's a question that I have to ask. What was the conversation like when Anakin became a force ghost? I would love to be a fly on the wall just to hear the awkward oh hey Anakin oh hi Mace I'm sorry that I cut your arm off and you fell out of a window <laughs> my bad <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. that's a really horrible way to go out <laughs> but it's so ridiculous and it's just Anakin being a complete idiot come on I'm <laughs> now to sum up my argument Star Trek and Star Wars should not be compared to each other because the two are fundamentally very different things. But what do you think? Do you agree with me that Star Trek and Star Wars shouldn't be compared, or do you think I'm totally off base? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, because I will be putting out new videos all the time. And in the paraphrased words of Captain Kirk, I shall see you out there. That away.